Kalwa Porter Williams. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to take a um, relatively crisp call on the Agricultural Compounds Veterinary Medicines Amendment Bill. Um, uh, Mr. Speaker, um, while researching this, I'm not a member of the Select Committee, so I have spent a little bit of time reading um, about the, uh, the um, contents of the bill, and I found it quite interesting to do a bit of a comparison. Um, uh, from the bill as it was introduced to uh, what came back to the House after the Select Committee had its, um, made its deliberations. Um, Mr Speaker, firstly, uh, I guess the, the first point to make is really about the uh, difference between um, an innovative and a non-innovative uh, um, product. And of course the innovative product is one where the active ingredient hasn't previously been registered in New Zealand. And the non-innovative product is one where reformulations um, or other uses are found of the um, active ingredients, which have already reg been registered in New Zealand. The bill seeks to um, look at uh, defining the data protection period for these particular products. And um, the d departmental um, briefing to the committee made the distinction between data protection and patent. And patent can confers um, certain market exclusivity, where data protection is really around how the original applicants um, can take time to recover the costs of developing the supporting data before suppliers of competing generic products can use that data to enter the market. But it doesn't stop other parties from generating their own data and registering competing products. So the bill is introduced, um, Mr Speaker, uh, extends the data protection period by up to three years under certain circumstances. The de departmental briefing made reference, uh, Mr Speaker, to the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, um, and uh, what they made specific reference to was the requirement for 10 years of data protection under that agreement, and that officials um, discussed uh, the, uh, uh, the policy decisions which may align um, the timing issues of uh, the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement and what may come out of this legislation. Um, I had a look at a couple of um, uh, submissions, uh, firstly from the Federated Farmers of New Zealand, and um, they, uh, they were um, supportive of the default periods for data protection uh, for the innovative trade name products uh, um, moving from five years to ten years. Um, and on data protection for the non-innovative trade products being, uh, being moved from three years to five years. And they also suggested that so the Select Committee amend the bill to increase protection of data for innovative trade applications by one year for each new use subsequently approved by uh, up to a maximum of five years. The other submitter that I had a look at was, I think it's called Zotus, Zotus which was Pfizer Animal Health. Um, and they were interested in looking at uh, intellectual property and the distinction between patent, patent protection and data protection. And I just want, to, um, uh, just want to quote from their submission. They talk about a significant period of time and money being spent on further development, generating data from clinical activities, which must be completed before the product can be made available for use. It is this data that requires protection under local legislation, and in many cases, the patent protection for an innovative product will be significantly eroded by the time a trade name product is registered, thereby putting the data at significant risk. risk. It must therefore be adequately protected by local uh, legislation. So what, of, uh, what did the committee um, make of this report uh, and the submissions, and what came back to the House? Um, the committee um, recommended that uh, the innovative trade name products, that the clause 6 be amended and a new subsection 74B be included to extend the base level of data protection from five years to ten years. Uh, but they didn't uh, recommend any, any um, uh, extension beyond ten years. They recommended um, clause 6, uh, new section 74D, which has a uh, data protection period uh, remaining at 10 years or five years after which uh, new use applications um, uh, or whichever was 
was longer. So they were looking at data protection remaining at 10 years or five years uh, if there were new use applications. And uh, also uh, an inclusion in clause 6, section 74E, which looked at data protection for five years after the application is decided. Uh, the committee um, did consider that five years would uh, promote registration and encourage competition, and any extension beyond the five years would adversely affect competition. So, um, in summary, Mr Speaker, uh, the, looking at the departmental briefings, the submissions, and what the, rec the committee recommended, um, <coughs> the, um, data with regards to the data protection periods, um, the committee st I look forward to the committee stage discussions, and uh, Labor will support the, the bill, passage of the bill. Thank you. Good.